Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play uh, Moonlighter. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo, and we are currently in a dungeon. Uh, we've had our butt kind of handed it to us, and we're really low on health. I'm going to go ahead and consume my last HP potion. We're going to have to buy more. We're going to have to... I'm going to have to pay attention to... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. I don't think that attack does damage, but it holds us in place, which is kind of a problem. Okay. We are ta taking a lot of damage. We're not very strong yet. We don't have a lot of equipment. What is this? Does this go to the forest? I'm kind of scared. Oh god, we're in a. F I can't go back. Okay, we're fighting new things. All right, we're getting a little bit better at combat. I can swing a little. F oh, what the? Whoa, everything's weird and trippy and warped. Oh god. I'm gonna beat you up through the log. So weird. Is that? Oh, that's weird. I don't think it can hurt me. I think it's just an effect. What kind of forest is this? It's really cool though. I don't think I can. I don't think there's anywhere to go here. There's some eyeballs I'm trying to reach just to see what would happen. No, there's nowhere else to go from here. But it's just a weird, random forest portal. I like that. That's pretty cool. That mixes it up quite a bit. Okay. Again, very low on health. If we start getting to the point where we're gonna die, we need to use our pendant and just leave. This is what we need to do. There we go. I, I think the thing is, we just need to be a little more careful about how we move, how we engage the enemy. Be a little smarter. Play, play smarter, not harder. That's, that's how it goes. I don't know if there's anything gonna ever be in those pots. I assume so. This almost looks like it could be broken, maybe? I don't know if there's like a like in Zelda where you can place bombs and blow stuff up. I don't know if that's gonna become a thing or not. Ooh, ooh this is a resting place. <gasps> Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Renoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to be to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. <laughs> Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside just for some gold, some fame, but not I, no, it's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with these unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what, I'm here for the how and the why. Uh, we don't know who this person is. Can I light this on fire? That would've been kinda nice. Like, as a, if I could light that on fire and it like healed me or something, like Fortnite style or something, that would've been kinda nice. Is there anything else I can do here? Achievement unlocked, special place. Ooh, got a special place achievement, okay. No, I think that's it here. So just a bit of story. It's a shame that there's not like a healing thing I could like rest here for a little bit. That, that would have been real, that would have been really helpful. That would have been really nice right now at 39 out of 100 health. It's one of those things where it's like I'm debating, do, oh, I don't know how I missed this. I'm debating whether or not I just leave and, uh, right now and come back when I'm more healed and just kind of keep chipping away. Or do I trudge on and risk everything? I think we trudge on and risk everything. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Oop. Those things that are flying make me nervous. Anything that flies makes me nervous by definition. I don't know, I don't know how they, they seem to just kind of move randomly. They're not really coming after me. Okay, so part of the thing in these types of games is learning how enemies work, their, their patterns, how they operate, how they think, getting inside their head, becoming one with the enemies. What do we got here? Fabric, uh, it must be placed at the top or bottom of a bag. Sure, that's fine. And some foundry rests. Yeah, we'll put those over there as well. That's fine. All right, up or right, up or right. We're gonna go up. Ooh, oh, oh, is this gonna be a healing thing? I don't know if that's, it might be a portal. It might be a portal, so I'm gonna read this first. Why, why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. 
Oh, uh, so if you leave stuff behind, they vanish, is what I think it's telling me. Can I go inside this? Oh, it's healing me! It is a healing spa! I didn't know if it was gonna be healing or if it would, like, send me to a water realm. Oh, that's really good! Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Oh my god, it's a boss! I was- go Golem Warrior! Oh no! No, what?! No! Well, that's a lot of damage we've taken. There we go. Oh no! Ah, butts! I'm doing so bad! I'm doing so badly! I'm Audi 5000. I'm about to die. I'm Audi 5000. We're not ready. We took too much damage and I don't have any potions. I'm out. I'm out of here. Yep. Escaped with Pendant. Yeah, we were at, I think that was the boss, or at least a boss. There could be many bosses. We just, we did, we defeated quite a few things. We got a couple of chests. We got some items. We got some gear. But man, I, I need it. I need, I need more healing potions. I don't know if there's a limit to how many I can carry on me. We need to go get some. Alright, well, I currently have everything I, like, own on my person right now, so let's go buy some healing potions. Do I have any of the materials for it? I needed some, like, jelly or whatever, and I don't know if I... Oh, there's, like, a jelly over there in that, like, cage. Or that fence. Oh, hey! This book is so good! Yes! What can I do for you? Uh, we're gonna craft some potions. I do have the jellies required for that. I don't have the mysterious one for the better health potion. But, like, yeah, let's get some HP potion ones. Um... How many do you want? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, five sounds like it'd be... I, I can get up to seven with the with the materials I currently have. So maybe we should do that. Just max out at seven. I think that's good, right? Um, yes. Do you want to brew HP Potion 1? Yes. Seven of them. I'll take it. It's going to take a lot of my money. But now we've got some potions for when we fight a boss or whatever. I like that. Okay. Great. I feel bad about having to bamf out of that dungeon, but I was not feeling confident in our ability to actually take it on. Alright, let's go back into our shop. Uh, we could sell some stuff. We're not going to sell our potions, obviously. It looks like you can only keep potions in stacks of five. So that's good to know. Um, what are you? You're a water sphere. Uh, whoopsie. Um, we need to sell some stuff. Cause we, we got quite a few tea stone. We'll slap those over there. Slap over some iron bars, because we can fill that out. Some plant flesh. We don't know what the plant flesh is worth. What else do we have a lot of? Uh, the whetstone, maybe? This is selling at seven. Uh, people are happy at six, or... Yeah, they're happy at six. Popularity is currently neutral. Uh, iron stone is... They're happy at 28. It's currently neutral. We can try to go up to 29, see what happens. Uh, this we have no idea, but it's right above the 60-ish mark. So let's try 65 and see how that goes. And this, the whetstone, is right above teeth stone. Which we're, they're happy at 6 for that, so maybe the whetstone we can try at 10. Give it a shot at 10, see how that goes. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll slap that stuff down for now. Do I have anything new to read? Should we just, uh, yeah, we'll just hold to sleep. Because I don't think you, I don't think the day, I don't think any time passes at night. You just go into the dungeon or you don't. I wonder if I could have turned around and gone straight back into the dungeon, actually, in one night. Because I left, and I came back, and I was at full health. I wonder if I could have gone back into the dungeon and kept going back and forth. Maybe I could have. I should try that next time. But now it's daytime. So let's go, uh, open the shop and sell some stuff. Eventually, we're going to want to hang on to some of our materials so that we can um, build stuff, build some new equipment and, like, you know, armor and stuff. But for now, I desperately need money. So I'm happy with selling a bunch of stuff. So she's kind of meh about the price of that iron right now. Yeah, the popularity dropped, I think, is what that was. I think that's what that down is, is that it dropped in popularity. Okay. So iron, I think, is uh, becoming worth less than it used to. White stone. There's only one of these. Um piece of con uh, container for preserving the properties of infused water. I don't know how... Okay, it's fine. Uh, where is this on the old... We don't know what fabrics were... Uh, we know water sphere is worth 110, and it's further along than water sphere. So... If we put the old water sphere over here, we can maybe s sell it for... 
140. Let's try 140. And what is this? Uh, fabric. We know about fabric. Uh, what, what do we not? Empowering crystal. We don't know anything about empowering crystal. Rock crystal source of magic power. It's above the value of a broom spear, but I don't know what the, what the value of that is. Rich jelly is worth five. It's a little bit more than five. So, ten? Let's give that a shot. Oh, she's very happy with the, uh, with the whetstone. Actually, in fact, too happy. So we'll have to increase the price of that, I think. Very happy with the, the price of that that ice cube as well. So may, maybe we, we, we could have gotten away with selling that for a bit more. There we go. Um, foundry rests. Boop. And some vines, I think. We're not gonna sell our potions, but our fabric for sure. Uh, do we know what foundry rests are worth? We do not. I believe this is to be the remains of an old foundry. If the golems are created, what created them? That is a very good question. It's worth more than a water spell. Uh, sphere, which is worth 110. Okay. So... Yeah, like 120. Sure. Because people are not wi willing to pay 120 for the water sphere. Uh, and people, how do people feel about the... the, the uh, we don't know about the empowering crystal. We're selling it at 10. The vines, people are meh at 5. And we've currently got it to 3. No, we've currently got it to two, actually. So we're selling that for two. And then the fabric, we do not know. But the fabric is worth more than a water sphere? Sturdy but rough to the touch. I imagine some would want to use this in the creation of decorations. So it's worth more than 110? Is that what I'm understanding from this? Let's, try, let's just try 120. See how people feel about that. I love this. I love this game! I like this. I love this part of it. I love the, the, the combat and stuff is fun too, but I love my, I love managing shops in games. That's something that I, we don't get to do that much on this channel. I don't do that much on a Let's Play, but I love tycoons and simulators like that. No one's buying anything right now. I don't think any of the items we're currently selling are very popular right now. That might be part of the problem. Oh, she's thinking about it. Oh, oh, she actually, that's actually very, apparently a very good price. Very good. Too good a price. Same thing with the fabric. But hey, we have to, we have to sell it for something to get, you know, some idea of what things are worth. We gotta sell it for something. What else do I have? I can put, um, here's another water sphere we can put on the market. Uh, 110 we decided was a good price, 120 is not. So 110, can I get away with, well 120 was bad, so there's not a lot of wiggle room there, so 110 is probably going to be the best, because I bet 115 is going to be meh, if I had to guess. Alright, so that's about all I'm uh, all I'm willing to part with, because everything, oh I got an achievement unlocked, good merchant, nice. That's about all I'm willing to part with, because everything else that I currently have in my inventory are health potions. So I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna bring you and put you in my hand so that I don't lose that in an, in an adventure at some point in time. We sold that for a very good price. And are either of you two gonna be interested in that water sphere for 110, eh, eh? Anybody interested? No, yes, maybe so. Yeah, he's happy for it. Okay, 110's a good price for that. We'll sell that and close the store. There we go. Closing shop. That's everything I had. Look at this. How much money did we make all together? 1343. Not actually as good a day as yesterday, but I'll take it. It was a pretty good day. Popularity. The iron bars popularity has gone down, so they're going to be worth less money than they normally are. But that's okay. Uh, inventory. Yeah, all I have on me are my potions. I am basically ready to go back into the dungeons and try this again. Do I want to invest in uh, any more? Uh, these are locked. Le Retailer, 5500. Tired of looking for items in the dungeons? Leave that job to others and come to Le Retailer, where you'll find the finest items in Renoka. Le Retailer, because life's complicated enough. I feel like that's going to be another shop that's going to kind of compete with us, but maybe if we need specific materials, then that's where we'd go. There's a banker interested in making 
Your money work for you? Trust your money in my hands and I will make it grow before your eyes? Sign the bank. Oh, I'm all about that. I'm all about some investments. Hawker, 20,000. As a hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. Okay. Well, we don't have that kind of money, nor do I think they're unlocked. I think they're locked right now, but I definitely don't have the money. And in the town, I can't afford any town upgrades right now, so that's fine. That'll have to, that'll have to do. Um, and I don't have any of the materials for any armor right now. The forge is ablaze, but I think I should start wish listing some armor. What am I interested? Am I interested in a bandana to give me more speed? Do I want more speed or do I really want more armor? Uh, do, and, and also, can I wear a bandana underneath a helmet? Probably not. So here's the question. Yeah, do I want a fabric bandana that gives me more speed, an iron helmet that's middle road, or get the maximum defense possible, but I'm gonna lose some speed with the steel helmet? I don't know if I wanna lose any speed, though. I don't know if I really wanna be slower than I already am. Also, how expensive is it? 4,000? Yeah, it's 4,000. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, oopsie. Gloves. What's the dealio with gloves? Gloves just help with attack power, it seems like. Okay, good to know, bows. And then the chest plates, because you don't get leggings. Oh no, you do get boots. Okay, so with the chest plates, yeah, there's some speed options with the chest plates as well. Okay, and then the, uh, what, are, what are my options for boots? Fabric boots. Iron boots, steel boots. So it's kind of the same premise. You have a light, medium, and heavy armor, and then, yeah. All right, so do I want to go with light and roguish and fast? Or do I want to go with heavy, medium? And they're all 4,000 gold, so it's it. I, I'm way out of my price range. It's just kind of like, what do I want to start saving for and getting items for? How about... The best speed bonus I can get is plus eight. So I'll tell you what, how about for the for the bandana, for the helmet, I'm gonna do a bandana. So I'm gonna add that to my wish list. And then for my chest plate, because I think that's gonna give me my biggest defense boost. Yes, I want the biggest chest plate. So I'm gonna do the 50. So I'm still up four speed from the bandana, and I can wear the heaviest chest plate. And then for the boots, um, yeah, there is the steel. And I, I could do, okay. Yeah, I, I could do the heaviest boots, and I'd actually be, I would break even on my speed and have a ton of armor. I won't be any faster and I won't be any slower if I go with the iron boots. The question is, do I just do I want to be a little bit faster and go with the iron boots instead of the steel? Just so I'd be a little bit faster than I currently am? I'm I, I would be okay with that. So iron boots it is. We'll do we'll do a light armor <laughs> helmet, a, a heavy armor chest, and a medium armor boots. That'll give me a little extra speed and quite a bit more armor. Now I can't afford any of that nor do I have the materials for it, but I've wishlisted it, so that I've kind of marked in advance what my plan is. What my plan, what my plan to be will be. Okay. And we're gonna go into the next dungeon in the next episode. So that's where I'm gonna stop this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please do all the things, but whatever you guys do, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, wash your hands. <clears throat>